Hey guys, what's going on? Subs and Paws, how we doing today guys? So today we have another dyno test. We're going to run it on the Rockford T1. We're going to run it, this is going to be 1 ohm. We're going to run it on the uh, American Base SL12. Uh, that's going to be at 4 ohms. And we're going to run uh, 2 ohms on the SCAR SVR12. We're going to run 2 ohms. So we're going to do a 4 ohm test, 2 ohm test, 1 ohm test. On the Jensen XDA91RB, I believe it's called. And after I finish all the dyno tests, I want to show you the amp too. Because when I was going to tune stuff, I kind of fell into a problem. You'll see later on. Okay, guys, so stay tuned. Make sure you check out the whole video. 1 ohm, 4 ohms, 2 ohms. All right, guys, make sure you throw that thumbs up. Don't forget about me. Go down below, ring that bell, subscribe to the channel, guys. All right, let's get all the stuff going. I'll get the SMD on. Turn on the Stetsom. There's the Stetsom. Here's the Jensen amp. You see the little blue light down here? Just got power. It has uh, RBG lights here. That's what the RGB stuff is. And we're going to do a true full test on the Planet Audio. We haven't done it yet but it's coming and let's get to the dyno all right we're gonna go on live power real-time power let's see if I can get a little bit lower let's see if I can get closer here okay whoop Okay. All right, so we're going to do 1 through 100 hertz sweep. I have the volume all the way up. So we're going to start at 1 hertz. So you can see it's at 4.7 ohms, 19 watts. 28 watts at 5.3 ohms. We're at 20 hertz at 20, 22 watts. And the ohms keep go, going higher every time it rises. Now it's making bass. I'm gonna put on the dB meter just so you can have a reference. It's making bass. And this is in my house, this is not in a car. And we're at 90 hertz now, this is 90 hertz. It's 100 hertz. All right, now we're gonna we're gonna try a 32 hertz sin. So we're at about nine ohms and 40 watts of power from the Jensen. All right, just so we can. We're gonna go back. We're gonna do this same test again. And I'm gonna show you the sub moving at the different frequencies. So there's five hertz. It's 20 hertz. And remember what I said now, guys. The volume is all the way up. I can't turn it up anymore. 
That's the first time I've ever had to do anything close to that. I usually turn the volume on about 20, 25, maybe 30 max. So turning it up to 100 is just ridiculous in my eyes. Now this is the same test that we did on the dyno, the one through 100 hertz. Alright, that's 75 hertz. I think you guys get the picture. Guys, make sure you throw that thumbs up. We'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back. Subs and paws. So I got the SCAR Audio SVR12 hooked up now. We're sitting on the dyno. We're on real-time power. We're at 1 hertz here. It's going to start any second. We should be at two ohms. That's what our speaker's wired to. So that's 10 hertz. Seven ohms, it's giving 10 watts right now. 30 hertz. I'm gonna give it a little bit more volume, guys. I did turn it down a little bit. It sounded distorted, so I got it on 80, not 100. This is 60 hertz, guys. Zoom out, we're gonna show you the sub. So that's five hertz, 10 hertz, 15, 20. That's 30 hertz. do a 32 hertz sin tone and it's going to come up a little bit different I believe I'm just guessing All right, let's go down here put the SMD back on pause you we're going to go to the 32 hertz sin tone same sub guys nothing's changed oh let's get it on Real time power. And let's see if we can give it a little bit more. So it's staying right around two ohms. You can see it. And my uh, power supply doesn't drop below 14.4. It's always 14.4 constantly. Let's give it a little bit more volume. There we go, 3.1 ohms, 117 I think I saw. All right, let's go 30 to 30 hertz. I'm gonna go a little bit lower. Here we go. See what we got. Still can't break that Those barriers. So guys, we'll be right back. Okay, don't forget that thumbs up, guys. I'm gonna put in the one ohm and we'll be right back. All right, YouTube. So we're coming back now. We're gonna do the one ohm test on the Rockford Fosgate T1. All right, so here we go. We're gonna do the one through 100 hertz. 
and I have the volume on 85, not 100, not 80, it's on 85. That's where I felt it sounded comfortable. It's in a small sealed box, okay? So keep that in mind. It's one ohm. This is the one ohm test, guys. We're going to do one to 100 hertz. Let's go. And after this test is done, I'll show you the sub moving. on 86 I think I can get a little bit more out of it okay guys now this is the Jensen this claims to be 1200 watt class D digital signal processor amplifier test enough. Let's try this one here. See how this does. All right, guys, as you can see, she didn't really put out anywhere close to 1,200 watts at 4 ohms, 2 ohms, 1 ohm, any ohms. I'm going to shut this down now. So, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you throw me that thumbs up. Make sure you like the video. Down in the corner, ring that bell. Subscribe to the channel, guys. I can't tell you how, how much I appreciate you guys. We'll see you soon, guys. Make sure you throw that thumbs up. Go down below. Leave a comment, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you want me to do something else. Try something else. All right. We'll see you guys next time. You're the boss. Keep it real. Peace. So, guys, there was just one other thing I wanted to say before I call this video done when I was looking for ways to tune the Jensen amp I was looking for any kind of anything to turn on the amp itself and there's nothing there's not a knob there's not a bass knob there's not a low pressure a switch there's nothing there's no knobs for anything so the amp has no control at all now I don't know if it comes new with something else that I'm missing or because I did buy it used and I only got the amp I don't know if it comes with a bass remote and it has separate switches on it or what but it came with nothing and it has no switches on it so I was unable to tune anything which was why I said I turned my radio up to 100 I've never done that normally I put it at 25 30 tops and that's probably damn near close to clipping. 
if not clipping because I'm trying to put something on for you guys so you can see what the amplifiers are doing for power so guys please don't forget like the video go down and subscribe we'll see you next time guys thanks for watching